Hi, kindergarten friends. We are going to be finishing our beautiful birds today. The very first thing we get to use today are crayons. So we're going to use only two colors of crayons today. We're going to use a brown crayon and an orange crayon. And with these crayons, we're only going to color certain parts of our artwork. So the first thing we're going to color is the brown crayon. We're going to color our branch for our bird. And you're going to take your time and color very slowly and carefully and color just the branch for that bird. So it's going to be all brown and no white showing. Notice I'm taking my time, I'm staying inside those lines I drew last time, and I'm only coloring the branch. I'm not coloring the birds, I'm not coloring the sky, I'm just coloring that branch today. So I'm going to take my time and color that branch all the way across. Keep coloring, and sometimes it helps if I turn my paper, I can color neater that way. So I turn my paper a little bit and keep coloring that branch all the way across. See how I'm not leaving any white? I'm coloring that branch so that only brown shows in that branch. There's no white showing in that branch. And I've got the whole branch colored, just like that. Now you can color the branch on your birds. The next thing we're going to do is use the orange to color the beaks on our birds. The only part we're going to color are the beaks. So I'm going to take that crayon and again I'm going to take my time, color very slowly and carefully and neatly and color the beaks on my birds very carefully so I'm not coloring outside of the lines. I'm just doing my best to stay inside the lines as much as I can. And I'm not letting any white show in there. I'm just coloring those beaks in nice and neatly nice and carefully and slowly and neatly and then I have my beaks done and that's all you need the crayons for today and the next thing you get to use is paint before we paint we make sure we always put on our paint shirts so we have to do that first and then we get to paint and last week we talked about the primary colors and guess what my friends we get to use the primary colors to paint our birds this time. So you're going to start with the color that's at your table. So I'm going to start with the yellow on my birds first. So I'm going to choose one bird, just one, and I'm going to pick which bird I want to be yellow. So I think I'm going to have this little bitty bird over here be yellow. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and I want to, want to watch what I do with it. I pick up my paintbrush and see how there's some water sticking on the end of it? I'm going to take my paintbrush and I tap it just on the side, just like that, so that extra water falls off. And then I can bring it over to my stuff to paint. And I'm going to very gently, very gently brush that yellow paint on there. Very gently. Just very gently, because I don't want to press hard and ruin the paintbrush. And if I press hard, sometimes the brush goes in spots I don't want. I'm just using the very tip of my brush and I'm painting my bird. Just very tip and I'm being very careful to get those colors just inside the bird, nowhere else, not in the background, not on the other birds. Using just the end of the brush, just the very little little tip part of the brush and filling that bird in very carefully with yellow. Just like that and then I have a yellow bird. And then when it's time to switch, we'll switch colors and we're going to very carefully use another color. So the next color I have to use is blue. And I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to follow the same thing I did with my yellow bird. I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to tap it on the inside just like that so that it doesn't drip on my paper. And then I'm going to very carefully using just the very tip of the brush very gently, very gently I'm going to fill in that bird. I'm very careful. I'm just painting it very lightly. I'm not pressing hard. Just pressing it very softly, just barely touching the paper with that brush. Very carefully I'm painting that bird. Very gently, very carefully. As carefully as I can, I'm getting that blue filled in. Very carefully. 
I'm going to very carefully paint this little mohawk too. Trying my best to stay inside the lines as much as I can. And then I can put my brush away. And I have two birds. Now you have to be very careful when you're painting these birds because when I'm painting this one, this one's still wet. And I don't want to stick my hand on it because it'll smear everywhere, right? So we're going to be very careful. And then I get my last primary color, which is red. I have red, and now I'm going to be very careful again because when I'm painting, I don't want to put my hand on these other ones because they are still wet. So I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to pick up my red paintbrush. I'm going to tap it right on the side so that it doesn't drip everywhere. Get that extra water off. And then I'm going to be very careful and use just the tip of the brush. Use just the tip of the brush to paint that bird in as carefully and as slowly as I can. So I'm not pressing hard, just very gently painting that bird. Very gently filling that in as gently and carefully as I can. And filling that bird in very carefully and gently. Very carefully and gently, we're going to fill that bird in. Super careful. Very, very careful. And then I have all three of my birds, and they're each painted a different primary color. Red, yellow, and blue. And then, my friends, we're going to let our artwork dry. So we are going to read a special story about colors. So we're going to leave our artwork right where it is, and we are going to read a special story. Good job today, kindergartners.